accounting contribution margin analysis. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. You'll see our email and our phone number listed here. You can use the email address for the homework answer. We'll give the homework toward the end of the presentation. We're going to go back to a term that we saw in the Cost Accounting 8 Flexible Budgeting video, and that is contribution margin, which we define as sales minus variable cost. And in the prior video, I explained that contribution margin covers, quote unquote, two amounts. Whatever contribution margin you have, let's say it's $100, goes toward covering your fixed costs, and then whatever's left, the remainder, that's your operating income or profit. The new information, which is in this video, is that we can make decisions when we have limited resources using the contribution margin tool. So in our prior video, Management 9, we had Standard Towel Company. And we, we're going to do some analysis now about the sewing machines used to manufacture the towels. And the question, which is in purple here, how do we best use the machine's available capacity, considering that the capacity has a limit? So first of all, we do a per unit analysis, which looks similar to what we had on the prior video with, with a few changes. We have two product lines, fluffy towels and sturdy towels. Again, contribution margin is sales minus variable cost, and we come up with contribution margin in purple per unit for each of the product lines. We'll go on to say that the current weekly demand for each of these product lines is 500 fluffy towels, 300 sturdy towels. And then the term contribution margin ratio, which is contribution margin divided by sales. And we find that it's 25% for fluffy towels, 17% for sturdy. Another way of saying it is for every dollar sales for fluffy, we have a contribution margin of 25 cents. Each of the towels takes a different amount of time to be processed. It takes 10 minutes to produce a fluffy towel using the machine, the sewing machine. It only takes 5 minutes for a sturdy towel. So now that we've got information on the product lines, let's look at the sewing machine itself. It's available to be used in production 35 hours a week. The reason it's not more than that is, is that we have to shut it down, let the machine cool down, do some repair and maintenance after 35 hours. We multiply by those hours by 60, we get 2,100 minutes per week that we can use the machine. So what we're trying to determine using contribution margin is what's the best product line, the most profitable product line to do first with this sewing machine. That's what's in this graphic here. We take the contribution margins per unit from up, up on top. We take the time to produce one unit from above, and we divide one into the other, and we find that for every minute we make fluffy towels, use the machine to make fluffy towels, everything else being equal, we make 20 cents. For every minute we use it to produce sturdy towels, we make 30 cents. So we make more with sturdy towels. The reason is while the sturdy towel contribution margin is lower at 17%, the time to produce sturdy towels is half of fluffy towels. So it doesn't take nearly as much time, sewing machine time, to produce sturdy towels. That makes a big difference. That makes sturdy towels more profitable. Now that we know all that, we can decide on how to use the available minutes on the sewing machine. We've got 2,100 minutes available. Since sturdy towels is more profitable, we're going to produce as many of those first as we can. The weekly demand was 300. It takes five minutes to do one towel, so we multiply 300 by five, it's 1,500 minutes. We subtract that from our total minutes and we see that we have 600 minutes left to produce the other product, the fluffy towels. Fluffy towels takes 10 minutes per towel so we can produce 60 fluffy towels. So we use all the capacity that we can to produce the more profitable sturdy towels first, and then whatever's left over, we produce fluffy towels. In terms of profitability, 
We produce 60 fluffy towels at a contribution margin of 2, 300 sturdy towels at a contribution margin of 1.5. We multiply those two together and add them, and we get a total contribution margin of $570 for that week. So what we've just done is use contribution margin and the amount of machine time for each unit determine which one is more profitable, sturdy towels. Produce the sturdy towels first. We took the remaining production and did the less profitable product line, fluffy towels. We multiplied towels produced by contribution margin per towel, and we figured what contribution margin we had based on this production. Now that's not operating profit, that's just contribution margin. Here's our homework question, and again, you can always pause this video or rewind it to get some of this information off the screen. You can email me at stltest.com to get the answer. i got to make a correction there. Here's the question. Assume that the machine times to produce one unit were reversed. That is, fluffy towels takes five minutes per unit. Sturdy towels takes 10 minutes. And so what we'd like you to do is to rework the problem on those new assumptions. And I would suspect that the more profitable towel might become fluffy since it takes half as long. Rework the question based on those assumptions. The question, which product line would you produce first? And if you'd like to email me, I can lay out the answer. And hopefully that's helpful to you. That's the end of part 10 of our video. You can find part 11 on YouTube, our YouTube channel, Kemboid STL, all one word. You can register for one-on-one -on -one tutoring and live chat sessions at our website, stltest.net, where there is a listing on the home page of all of our available videos and what they talk about. And finally, my email address for homework questions and my phone number. Thanks very much. We'll see you next time.